It cannot. Yo! Yeah, yeah, stay! And that is the moment that citizens of Italy, Rome, started calling 911 and they were calling for the fire department because these beautiful citizens, they have believed, they had believed that there was an earthquake in their city when Ye took that stage because baby, the people were so receptive of the return of the great king that they just could not contain themselves they were jumping they were shouting everyone had their phones on people were crying people were so emotional but now baby tmz is twisting a narrative here and luckily i saw this report when it came out last night Guys, let's give a mother, mother, mother shout out to Harlem World who has been keeping us in the loop. And if, if you've been checking more than one media outlet, you would know what is being said and how TMZ is trying to twist what had happened. So according to the reports from CNN, not TMZ, because in this case, you cannot follow TMZ because many people believe that they are now reporting in favor of Kim and Kylie, <laughs> even if that's not the case. But we know that TMZ has been called out for being in the Kylie Jenner's pocket. So at the same time, really and honestly, it's definitely not far-fetched because TMZ is saying, oh, people got injured the moment that Kanye came on stage, but that's not the case. People got injured at the venue because when they were there, you know, at the venue, people were dancing, swinging their hands. So someone thought they were getting attacked because people were so excited and people were grabbing onto people, screaming in excitement, hugging people in excitement, you know, and someone hugged someone who was a stranger, shook them. That person initially thought they were getting attacked, took their pepper spray out, sprayed the pepper spray, while they attack the person, pepper spray them. The person was like, Jesus, God damn, calm down. I'm just overexcited and I didn't even realize who was standing close to me because you're at an event. The king has returned. Travis Scott introduced the great king on stage. People could not contain themselves. So people were hugging onto people, celebrating with other people because, hey, the king is on stage. So when the person used that pepper spray to spray that one individual there were other people close by who got a little mist of the pepper spray as per tm as for cnn report right and based on how cnn had worded that's how i can describe it i can actually see the picture of what took place there so i'm telling you based on that article so when the person took out that pepper spray to spray that individual you know they had to apologize it was all a mistake but then there were other people close by who got a mist off the pepper spray and there were people who you know they thought that something else was going on at the venue and they had to escape but then there were people who were touching them, grabbing them, holding them back, letting them know that it was a misunderstanding. There's no war. There's because they had enough security at the venue. Security was in the crowd. The security team and the medics, they contained the situation in less than five minutes. In less than freaking five minutes, over 60,000 people. That is, tr that is credible. That is tremendous. That is just unbelievable because Travis Scott and his team ensure that they will not have a repeat of Astro World. And this is where I say the media does damage to people because you can feel however you want to feel about Travis Scott. But this time around, knowing that there were security personnel in the crowd among the concert goers who were able to contain that situation so quickly, you have to say kudos to that team, right? Because let me tell you, it takes something very simple like that for things to turn out to be truly catastrophic. Now, another team, team, you know, was trying to get over the fence because 
they didn't have the money to pay. So with a team's teens attempt to jump the fence to see the show and the people were hyped up and he heard that hey Kanye is on the show he's like no effing way I have to see this man for myself he fell he got injured but they got to him they took him to the hospital no charges has been pressed against the young man because Travis Scott and his team is saying that's definitely not what Utopia is about so if you're gonna go with the TMZ report on this you would definitely not even have a sense of what truly took place you would see the fake narrative of them trying to tying the Astroworld incident when the reality is it's two different things but it could have potentially turned out to be the same but this time Travis Scott is team the um venue older um everyone were more unified more calculated better prepared in their efforts now the setback and the reason why there are tighter restrictions around hosting another show at the colosseum right is because it's an um historic place the space they haven't done much on the land geographically they do severe but they did thought that hey it could have hosted this show right that is what they got signed off on they were told they were promised that this venue can facilitate these people but human beings we have no idea how nature is going to respond to our actions so when the crowd started jumping thumping screaming shaking holding on to them just imagine we're talking about human energy you know Human energy is a part of nature. It's not something that can be contained so easily. So they are finding out now that the Col the Colosseum maybe cannot hold people, that much people, for that level of excitement for this type of events. So what they're doing is they're surveying the area. They're looking at what can we do? you know, to improve this infrastructure because they made damn good money off that show. So when they have banned it, they have to, they have to, they have to take a step back to, you know, do their necessary checks, get all the engineers to come in because it's also a historic site. Do we take a chance to have venues here, to have events here like this? Is it something that we can rectify? What can we do to rectify it? And if we are able or not able to rectify it, how do we go about hosting venues here going forward? That's all that is happening. And you have to check the actual reports for you to get the facts and realize that what happened was out of ye and Travis Scott control. They had nothing to do with the, well, ye had everything to do with that earthquake. Let's be real. Ye had every mother, mother, mother thing to do with that earthquake. But they were given the go ahead. They were told that everything is good. So at the end of the day, you know, the city council have their hands full with the Colosseum this amazing, beautiful, historic site. And the final decision is up to them because they have to preserve this piece of history. And it's not personal having to do with Travis Scott or Ye. So I just wanted to bring the facts over the fiction that is being promoted by some media outlets. But guys, I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts about this entire thing about Ye, the earthquake, them saying that 60 people got injured and the facts versus the fiction? I want to hear from you guys because I've been educating you guys about this a lot. And I hope that you guys are learning, taking notes, listening, paying attention and keeping yourself up to speed. But hey, I still need my response. So let's get that discussion popping, guys. And we'll catch up in the comment section. Bye, guys.